is Shashikala and the possible uh, elevation of her as the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu taking over from Opani Selvam who is the current Chief Minister. For the very latest let's go across to Uma Sudhir who is at the AIDMK headquarters and joins us for more on this. Uh, now Uma there's a lot of speculation about that elevation but there are also conflicting uh, information that's coming from ministers who say no this is not on the agenda at all uh, but but then of course this is has been in the talks what are you picking up from your sources at this moment the only cost, constant vis-a-vis uh, -vis the AIA DMK has been the suspense around whether or not Sisikala will take over. No official word yet. Yes, as you mentioned, some people are saying that yes, the elevation most likely to happen today because there is no reason for her to wait any further. That yes, uh, they they in fact say that they even have a draft of the uh, letter ready which will uh, say that they would like Sisikala to take over as the legislature party leader. But whether that will get the nod of Poets Garden is something that they must wait and see because right now as we talk. Uh, the MLAs are at Poets Garden, so before they come to this party headquarters, they will be. Uh, they are at Poets Garden, where they are uh, discussing what is to happen and what is in the agenda today. Because when we spoke to MLAs and ministers, no clarity really. Some of them indicating, as you mentioned, that uh, we are going to discuss uh, better coordination between the party and the government, also about uh, the local uh, body elections that are going to come up, and also about the fact uh, that uh, uh, you know Jayalalitha's birthday is coming up on the 24th of February, and how that is to be celebrated those are the main items on the agenda that's at least one uh, what one minister indicated but right. we must see all this in the light of the developments uh, over the last weekend one we saw major changes in the uh, bureaucratic setup the JR team uh, so to speak uh, Sheila Balakrishnan Venkat Ramanan and Ramlingam getting replaced or rather being asked to leave and two in the party itself there have been major changes of accommodating right. uh, many people who were in a sense sidelined so is right. uh, Sasikala in that sense trying to co uh, you know uh, 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 trying to consolidate her position right. within the party so that she can take over as chief minister. Back right, Uma, and very briefly, of course, uh, now, you know, uh, there's a lot of other stuff going on as well, such as the fact that she's not an elected member of the state assembly, that the, the DMK working president, MK Stalin, has said today that, uh, you know, Tamil Nadu did, did not vote for the household of uh, Jay Lalita, and the fact that she still has disproportionate asset cases pending against her. Uh, uh, one MLA I spoke to, or at least uh, one minister also, in fact, said that the uh, DA case pending against her in the Supreme Court is certainly not an impediment for her to take over. But he also mentioned that uh, there is, uh, there are some ministers, ministers he said mentioned in plural, uh, the, who may be uh, not too happy about her taking over as chief minister, and perhaps uh, the measures over the last few days uh, within the party and uh, uh, within the government may be a uh, uh, way forward to uh, pave the way in a sense for Jailalita to for, uh, for uh, Sasikala to formally be take over as the chief minister as well. So uh, the fundamental changes that have happened in the party as well as in the JR team, so to speak, the core team of bureaucrats, that seems to indicate that something right. certainly is in the offing. Uh, it's a matter of time, but when it will happen, no one really knows. It could even be today.